If you want to be spiritual, to practice yoga, be religious, or just be a good person, then you need to follow the path of those sparks that lead to dry grass. You ask, what's with the spark? Well, let me retell the example my guru told me. Imagine a fire and sparks coming out of it. If a spark falls in a nearby pond, it's extinguished. If it falls on wet grass, it could either blaze or be extinguished, 50-50. But if the spark falls on dry grass, it'll flare up into a fire of its own. Similarly, we are originally in the fire of spirituality, but somehow we've fallen out of our original nature. Now, as sparks of fire, we can take the path that leads to water, which is like a life of intoxication, sleep and laziness, a life of little or no meaning. In that case, our inclination to spirituality will be extinguished. We're lost. Or we can follow the path to wet grass, which is the life of passions, endless desires, and deeply seated attachments. It's a life of intense struggle, which could or could not redirect us to our spiritual nature. But the path of sparks that fall on dry grass is a life of self-control, spiritual interest, and timeless values. A life of goodness, a life which quickly leads us back to our spiritual nature. So the choice is yours. Which spark will you follow? Or rather, which lifestyle will you choose? That's your free will. And free will allows you to change your destiny.